Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's Rishri and in this video, we will be taking a look at the operations of addition and subtraction in the chapter of matrices. This is form 5, chapter 2. This is a part 2 series. If you are not familiar with the term matrices, I would recommend you to watch the prior video to this, the part 1 video to get the basic understanding of what matrix what a matrix is so without any further ado let's begin addition and subtraction in matrices we have two kinds of basic operations one is addition subtraction uh, both of them belong to one category and other category is multiplication in this video we will only be covering the addition and subtraction part because the multiplication part requires a separate video because it's a lot of things that you have to understand in order to continue with multiplication this video we're going to take it light it's just addition and subtraction and just one thing you have to know for example given a square matrix 2 4 7 8 and then you are told added it with another square matrix so in it in this event what you should do is multiply the uh, not, not multiply pardon me add the numbers together based on their corresponding position in the matrix so for example we have two here on position one one so what you have to do is add it together with the number on the position 1 1 in the next matrix so 1 1 is going to be right here so 2 plus 4 we get 6 then follow the same for everything else 4 plus 5 is 9 7 plus 7 is 14 8 plus 2 is 10 this is the answer that's it seriously it's that simple adding and subtracting in matrices is incredibly simple but bear in mind, you can't add the matrix num the numbers in the matrix if if the matrix do not have the same number of rows and columns as each other. You can have a rectangular matrix with two, three, four, seven, two, nine, and then add it together with another identical looking matrix a matrix which is. 2, 4, 7, 9, 3, 8. The numbers do not, doesn't have to be same, but the shape of the matrix must be the same. If it's rectangular, it has to be rectangular. And the number of rows and number of columns for each of them must be the exact same. See here we have a square matrix 2 times 2, 2 times 2, and then the answer will also be 2 times 2. Same thing goes for rectangular matrix. So uh, row times column, we have 3 times 2 and then 3 times 2 so the answer in this case will be 4 7 11 16 5 and 17 so this the answer will also will also consist of three column uh, three rows and two columns as simple as that so for subtraction let me show you an example for subtraction it will be 7 2 3 4 5 sorry 5 4 1 then minus it with 3 7 9 2 4 3 all right so when we minus it same thing 7 minus 3 will be 4 2 minus 7 will be negative 5 3 minus 9 will be negative 6 5 minus 2 will be 3, 4 minus 4 will be 0, and 1 minus 3 will be negative 2. As simple as that. Just bear in mind that you have to minus the numbers in the same position for both metrics. That's the only thing you have to remember. Everything else is exactly what we have learned in primary school and also in the chapter 1 of form 1 in teachers same exact same thing the minus the, the concept of minus and addition are completely the same 
just have to remember that you have to add only to the corresponding position. This video is going to be short because I'm not going to cover multiplication. Multiplication is a bit tricky because you have to know which metric uh, matrices that you can multiply together. No worries, in the following video, I will be covering that. And we will also have one more video where we go through all of the problems regarding matrices so that you get a basic idea of how to tackle it. So as usual, if you have any questions or anything you want to say about my videos or any methods that you think will work for you, do let me know in the comment section below or if you are shy, feel free to text me via email. Is it called text? Or email me through Gmail. I would be happy to read your emails and stuff. So make sure that you keep on grinding and studying. So with that, I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and thanks for watching.